you know, I, I, I kind of had a break from it. Uh, you know, my family had some, some things going on that, that kind of gave me a break from it. Um, you know, it's, you know, nobody was more disappointed than, than the players. Um, you know, we, uh, I didn't pitch well. You know, that, was, that was the bottom line. My last two starts against Baltimore and Smith, where they weren't good. How about what happened? I'm obstructed in the cap. I was how big a factor was that? You know, I'm not saying we didn't make mistakes because we did make mistakes in the clubhouse. But the, the biggest mistakes we made were, or the biggest mistake I made was not pitching well against ball. I was prepared to pitch every time I went out there. Um, you know, I just, I just didn't execute pitches when we needed to. Just right in the fact that right or wrong, you become something of a lightning bolt for all the fans. Happiness and the way things are. I mean, I really can't control that, you know. I mean, I'm sure that manifests itself somehow, so um, I can't control that. Both the manager and pitching coaches and teammates have referred to you as the leader on this pitching staff for a number of years, including that sort of set the tone. Given that, do you feel any additional responsibility for some of the stuff that went on in the clubhouse with you in that position? Yeah, I think for me, I, I can only speak for myself here, you know, and, and you know, I, I think that, you know, we had laps in judgment. I had lapses in judgment, and, you know, that was, I, I can't speak for everybody else, and I, I kind of want to kind of keep it at that, you know, I, I can't speak for John or John or Clay or, or Wakey or, or anybody, you know, it's just, it's, it's pretty much, you know, I want this to stay about me, you know, and that's, that's kind of, you know, how I feel about it, I can't speak for everybody else. Josh, do you think this will be it? Do you regret perhaps not taking more of an active leadership role to stop some of the stuff in um, retrospect? You, you know, I, I had I had things going on, I, you know, and and I got distracted, and and I think that that was the biggest thing for me that you know I think going forward I would I would you know I would definitely change you know just not be distracted. Do you think it's going to be because of what went on a tighter and closer knit clubhouse this year? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, it takes time. And winning, winning will hit a lot. The, the, uh, the clubhouse in September, the clubhouse in April, or the beginning of April, were no different. And in between there, we, we apparently had some great chemistry because we were playing great baseball. And uh, you know, I think winning cures that. Go twenty and seven. I think that it would be a little bit different as far as uh, you know the the atmosphere in the clubhouse. This winning winning is fun and losing sucks. Well, Any type of say you had things going on that distracted you. You're referring to the one in the first time. I was distracted. Josh, you said that you were prepared to take the mound every time out. There have been suggestions that you changed your approach to between starts or teams. <coughs> we'll never miss a workout. Then that being the case, given that there have been questions about how, you know, have you have you kind of caught wind of any of the idea uh, the idea that you are conditioning differently? And if so, what's your you know? How I you was ready to pitch every time I pitched, and I didn't execute pitches in my last two starts. Did you approach this off season in terms of uh, conditioning? Uh, we did pretty much the same exact thing we do every year. Maybe mixed in a couple extra exercises that. The trainers and the training staff has, has learned or, or maybe more beneficial for my, my body type. Josh. Josh, what are, Josh, what are <coughs> the keys to staying healthy and successful during that such a long season? Um, I, mean, I, I think he definitely can't have any, any unlucky situations, uh, you know, like happened in, in Toronto or anything like that. But you know, for me, I think it's just a you, you got you to gotta find out what works for you, and it's different for everybody. For me, it's 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 throwing more, and and, and then the, the bullpen's kind of tapered down towards the middle of the year, and then maybe pick them back up whenever you have a, a slow period. You know, there's just certain things for me that are that are more injury prone than, than other things. How do you feel about working with your third pitching coach? I have to talk to Bob. I don't know. What do you think about third pitching coach? I think this is like my seventh no, or eighth. No, 30, 33 years. Um, it seems good. I talked to him a lot over the winter. You know, I think we, we had a lot in common. With, you know, he, he just had a baby as well, so you know, we talked a lot over the winter. As soon as he got the job, I, think, you know, I heard from him like two days later, and we've kind of kept in contact since then. Josh, you said you had some lapses in judgment. What were those? We we made.
made mistakes. Clubhouse. That's about as far as I'll go as talking about the clubhouse. Josh, can you understand uh, back home? You guys basically what happened in September and then you left and the story started coming out everything. Just some, the fans, I guess, are sitting there saying, well, Josh is considered a leader. Or the fans look up to you and everything else. Do you understand where they're coming from with their anger, perhaps, as they, they get ready to start this season? Absolutely. I've been a fan of things, too. You know, it, 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 it's, it stinks whenever things don't go the way they're supposed to go. And we were a really good team. And we were the best team in baseball for about five months. And, you know, it, it sucks the way things ended. And, yeah, I mean, but... We're, we're just as let down as they are, and you know that doesn't make it that doesn't make it right. But you know, we're we were very let down as well. What do you think of the changes um, with the season and the offseason? Um, Which ones? The, the right field, short set situation, standing next to the uh, ballot. Is that for sure? Question, uh, question marks on the uh, end of rotation and no face in the movement. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what spring training most of my years has been about. I mean, there's been a few exceptions since I came over to Boston. You know, the, the team was already set before anybody even stepped foot out there to, to stretch the first game. But uh, you know, spring training is kind of, kind of about that you know, for some guys. You know, there's, some, there's some new faces in here. You know, obviously, right field's open. I think there's a, a possibility of two different guys playing shortstop. And, there's a possibility of, I think, 35 guys making the rotation and 12 new guys in the bullpen. It's, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's fun. And, you know, a lot of the guys we brought back that were in spring training last year, and they're, they're fighting for you know, positions.